So we're talking about this week in general and we have an option, you'll see we have the optional deload this week. Um, I say optional because it really depends on where you are in your season or, or what you've been doing competition wise recently. But if you are following this season structure and just looking towards next year like CrossFit Open quarterfinals, this is actually a great time to take a deload week. Um, this week, your next one will be somewhere around uh, Christmas. That Christmas to New Year week is often a great time to take a deload because people are pretty busy with their social lives then anyway. And then another one just before the Open. So that kind of leads us into the season nicely if you do that this week. If you're on the compete track, I know the training is the same, but the people who follow the compete track are probably going to have a bit more variance in when they are competing. Um, so if you haven't done a deal all week in the last eight, maximum sort of 10 weeks, you probably need to be taking a bit of a recharge this week. If you're feeling any sort of small niggles or your energy and motivation for training has been dipping recently, then a recharge could be good for you as well. And then if you're competing at the prepared classic, this actually could be a good time to take a bit of a recharge week. I wouldn't go to the uh, lowest volume that I have set out here, but just lower it down a little bit this week, take a bit of an easier week. That competition's in four weeks time. I know a lot of people are competing in that one. So you have a bit of an easier week, two weeks of really hard training, uh, at which point close to the competition, you will get some workouts released. Um, so you can do very specific training for that competition and then you will just have a small taper leading into the event itself. Okay, but you'll see every day at the top you have these deload notes and that's just kind of an overview of that day, how you should reduce the training. But in general guys, you're looking to reduce your training if you're doing a full deload or recharge, whatever you want to call it about 50 to 60% of your normal training volume. So that is obviously very specific to you. If you do the full volume on the program, then you're gonna go down to probably just one session a day and maybe um, two to three, or probably three training pieces in that main session rather than the four or five that you usually have. And you'll see that the all the sessions this week have a range of working sets. So take the lower range or somewhere in the middle of the lowest to the highest range to just reduce the volume, but everything you do should still have intensity. Okay, it's not being lazy with your training, it's just lowering the volume, but still being able to push hard so you still have that sort of pushing hard, the, the feeling of pushing hard throughout the week so it doesn't hit you too hard when you go back into training next week. But take a look at all those notes that you have at the top and just make some smart decisions with your training this week.